Welcome guys! A new weapon has come to PUBG, the G36C, a 5.56 assault rifle that replaces the Scar L on Vikendi. Yes, poor Scar got replaced again. But what is the difference between the G36C and the Scar, apart from the name, looks and sound? Well, that's what this video is all about. This is an in-depth comparison between the G36 and the SCAR, which will give you clear insights as to what this new gun is all about. The first thing I'm going to have a look at is the handling in a full auto recoil test performed without any attachments and then three more times with a compensator and each of the available grips on Vikendi, the angled, vertical and light grip. Marking the recoil pattern, the first bullet recoil is marked with red, as that is the initial jump of the weapon which is always the highest. When comparing the recoil with the SCAR L, we have a very similar performance. The recoil is pretty much the same. With the ankle grip plus compensator, the results were also pretty much the same. Swapping over to the vertical grip, the weapons again handled the same. Keep in mind that the recoil patterns will never be completely identical due to randomization even when using the same gun doing the same test over and over. Finally, the light grip again, it's the same. Interestingly, the first bullet recoil is always less with the light grip, but I'm not sure it's worth going for anyway. In the final comparison, it becomes super obvious that when it comes to recoil patterns, the G36 is a SCAR L in disguise. Another part of the recoil is single tapping. You might be using your assault rifle as a budget DMR in some situations. And in this test, I'm measuring how high the reticle jumps every shot, how bouncy the weapon will feel, and where the center of the reticle ends up after each shot. I of course did this for both weapons and the results are very similar. But the G36 have a small tendency of being slightly more reliable for this purpose. Based on these results you should be feeling that the G36 is a bit more stable under single fire. The rate of fire is also measured and here's a big difference. The G36 shoots much faster than the SCAR. It has the same rate of fire as the M416, AUK and the barrel, meaning it will do more damage per second than the SCAR since they both do the same damage per bullet. But since they have the same recoil pattern, the G36C will be harder to control as the muzzle will rise faster. You quite simply need to move your mouse down faster with the G36C to control the spray. The damage is the same per bullet, and so is the damage falloff, because they lose the same amount of damage on range. I also measured the bullet velocity and bullet drop. Here is a 400 meter shot and you can see that the aim point on the 6x scope for 400 meters is the same for both weapons, meaning the bullet drop is the same. And this is because the bullet velocity is also exactly the same too. On 400 meters, the average bullet velocity was measured to 571 meters per second for both guns. The G36 has a slightly slower reload speed than the SCAR L, so you will run out of bullets faster and will have to reload slower. Definitely a balancing decision here. The ADS speed is the same for both weapons. Finally, the audible distance of the weapons was measured too, and in my test I found that the G36C is slightly louder than the SCAR L, which makes it audible about 30 to 40 meters further away. At 650 meters away from the shooter, the guns sounds like this. So in conclusion, the G36 is a SCAR that has a higher rate of fire, making it quite deadlier. The higher rate of fire will make it feel a bit more difficult to control, but the full auto performance is the same. It seems slightly better for single fire due to the single tap handling, but has the same damage fall off, bullet drop and bullet velocity as the SCAR while being slightly louder. The ADS speed is identical to the SCAR, but it reloads slightly slower. So should you take it over the M416? 
Well, based on these tests, I wouldn't mind doing that at all, but I'll need to make new tests for the M416 to be absolutely sure. For now, enjoy the G36C, it's definitely not a bad gun. Now that's all I had for you guys in this video, and these videos do take a long time to make so I hope you found it helpful, and if you want to see more like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.